Their legal battles already lasted nearly 20 years, but they refused to lose hope. The entire Chagos Island's population lives in exile, but campaigners say they're confident of overturning a decision seven years ago that they did not have the right to return home. Since last year, we have a visibility studies uh, done, uh, implemented by uh, KPMG, uh, proposed by the UK government, which had been clearly said that there is no legal barrier to allow Sagotian to return and resettle on Chagos. At Monday's Supreme Court hearing in London, lawyers for the Chagos Islanders, including Amal Clooney on the left here, rejected the idea that returning would endanger a project to create a marine protection area. Between 1967 and 1973, Britain forcibly removed around 2,000 people from the Chagos archipelago in the Indian Ocean, including the main island, Diego Garcia, which was leased to the United States to build an airbase. They were taken to Mauritius and the Seychelles, more than 1,500 kilometres away. Some still live there in poverty, but the largest community now lives here in the town of Crawley in southern England, also home to the office of Alan Vincatassin, who heads what he calls a provisional Chagos Islands government. He says his community feels let down by Britain. We recently had this um, anniversary of the Magna Carta, and Magna Carta didn't apply to us at all. So I believe it's high time that uh, this country uh, do the moral thing, and that moral thing is to return British overseas territory citizen uh, back to their, to their country. The Chagos Islanders and their supporters say they could easily make a living if they returned, either working at the Diego Garcia Air Base or in tourism. The presence of such a well-known face among their legal team won't have hurt the Chagossians' case in terms of media coverage, but there have been many twists and turns in their legal fight to go back home, and it could be a long time before they get a definitive answer. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, London.